Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to download and install the FA menu, the menu 2.0, you know, the, the new one. So you're going to be able to do really anything that you want. Maybe you want super run, you want to have super jump, anything that you want. But yeah, stay around until the end of the video and let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. Step number one for getting menu 2.0 is to click on the second link in the description. That'll bring you to our written guide on how to download and install this mod menu. Once over here, this is our written guide and of course, feel free to read through it. However, if you just want to follow along the video, scroll down until you see how to download and install menu 2.0 and then on the first step click this link that will redirect you over here and then in here you're going to click download maybe you have to wait a couple of seconds in here and you're going to click download again on this big green button and that'll begin the download for the menu 2.0 file now if you already have a script hook v on your gta 5 installation folder all you have to do now is go ahead and drag and drop the content of this zip file into that folder but i'm assuming most of you don't have a script hook v which is a requirement for menu 2.0 to work now for the next step we're going to go ahead and download a script hook v so go ahead and click on the third link in the description which is this link in here and that'll bring you over here this is the script hook download page you're gonna go ahead and click where it says download down here we also have guides on our website and by the way the download will start right away when you click on download like i was saying we also have guides in our website so just go to our page and look up a script hook v and as you can see it's gonna ask you if you are sure about downloading this file now this is completely normal just go ahead and click on keep i don't even know why google chrome does this some browsers do it some browsers don't just go ahead and download this file trust me it is completely safe and if you know anything about modding gta 5 you know that you will need a script hook most of the time anyways now that we downloaded these both files the script hook v and the menu 2.0 let's go ahead and drag and drop them into our desktop with these two files in our desktop you will see that these are zip files now if you're using windows 11 don't worry because we could open zip files in windows 11 like if they were regular folders however if you're using an older operating system you might need to go ahead and download and install winrar i'm gonna go ahead and leave this guide in the description this is a guide on how to download and install winrar and WinRAR is going to allow you to open these zip files. So that's probably going to be the fourth link in the description. Just a quick guide on how to install WinRAR. Anyways, let's assume that you were able to get these zip files and now you're able to open them. What's the next step? Well, the next step is to install these things. And to do that, we're going to have to find our install location of our GTA 5 game. Now, in the first pinned comment of this video, as well as in the description, I'm going to leave some of the most common default locations for the game to install to. However, I'm going to show you in a second how to find that install location real quick. If you have the game through Epic Games, and also I'm going to show you how to find this through Steam as well. So if you have the game through Steam or Epic Games, it doesn't matter. I'm going to show you both ways. But let's go ahead and start with Epic Games. If you have the game through Epic Games, go ahead and find the game in your library. Click on these little three dots in here and then go ahead and click on manage. Once over here, go ahead and click on this little folder, which says open file location. And then you'll be here in the folder that we are looking for which is our install location for GTA 5. Now, if you have the game through Steam, first of all, go ahead and launch Steam and then find your GTA 5 game here on your games. Now, I don't have GTA 5 here on Steam, so let's just act like this game is GTA 5, right? So once you find GTA 5, you could just right click on it, click on manage and then click on browse local files and that'll bring you to the install location of GTA 5. Now, this is just an example. This is clearly not GTA 5, but now you know what to do to find the install location for GTA 5 through Steam. Now, once you located that folder, go ahead and bring it up to the screen. And guys, before we add any mod into GTA 5, I always recommend that you back out of this folder and you make a copy of it just so you can have a backup in case anything goes wrong with the modding. You could always go back to the normal installation of the game without any mods. So always make a backup. The first thing that we're going to do is add a script hook into here. And no, you're not just going to drag the zip file into here. You're going to open that zip file like i said if you're on windows 11 you could just double click on it once in here in the script hook v folder go ahead and click on bin and open that folder app and you're going to go ahead and drag and drop a script hook v dot dll into the gta 5 folder and once that drops into there well i'm gonna go ahead and replace it because i already had it once you drop that into there you're also going to drop the d input a dot ddl file into here again i'm gonna replace it because i already had it of course and now you could close out from here and you could even delete that script hook v zip file now go ahead and open the menu 2.0 zip file it's going to look something like this and now from here you're going to go ahead and drag and drop this menu stuff folder into the gta 5 folder like that let's wait for that to add in there and now you're also going to add the menu that asi file in here just go ahead and drag and drop it in here you don't have to drag and drop anything else and if you just wanted to make it super easy you could just grab everything and drop it in here but you don't really have to drop the readme or the license.txt files Anyways, now that we added that into the GTA 5 installation folder, again, check the first pin comment as well as the description of this video to find common locations for the installation file. Now let's head back into the game. And yes, you could delete the zip file now. Let's go ahead and launch our GTA 5 game. Now guys, once in the game, as you can see, we already got that menu working and it's as easy as just pressing F8 on your keyboard, you'll get this menu open. And now of course you could play around with the settings. Let's say that you wanna just make, you know, 
rainy. You want to change the weather. Let's say that you want to make it clear. You know, you could do anything, add clouds in there. You could really do anything. Also, guys, very important that I tell you this. This is not for you to use on multiplayer. Just use this on single player. This will get you banned online. OK, this will get you definitely will get you banned. So don't try to use this online. The game shouldn't let you use this online. But if you find a way around it, don't use it. OK, let's give ourselves a super jump and now let's go ahead and test it out. Just all we got to do is jump. <laughs> Look at that. This is just so funny. So you can see this is completely working on GTA 5. This is menu oh, 2.0. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. We're trying to reach 100k subs and I know that you're going to be part of it. And yeah, ignore that. I'll see you next time.